Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things. Death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about whether the happiness of heaven is natural or artificial. This time, what if someone doesn't want to be happy? This is one of those questions that rarely occurs to people who do like being happy, but there are in fact a fair number of people who enjoy being angry with others, or moping, or even just focusing on their work and avoiding any feelings that might distract them. What about them? Wouldn't the happiness of heaven be unwelcome to people like that? The answer is that this is simply a misunderstanding of what's meant by happiness. When we talk about liking anger or sadness or being obsessively professional, even suppressing our emotions entirely, we're talking about the feeling of happiness, a pleasant feeling and or attitude which makes us smile and makes our emotional burdens feel lighter. However, when we talk about the happiness which God gives to the saints in heaven, that's not the same thing at all. The happiness of heaven means total fulfillment, being given all we need to be truly and permanently contented. If a person were really contented with feeling the emotions of anger or sadness or with feeling no strong emotions at all, the emotion of happiness wouldn't need to be foisted on them in order to give them heavenly happiness, true contentment. So even if a person doesn't want to feel emotional happiness, the happiness of heaven would still not be contrary to their will. Next time, how much can we trust the angels and the saints? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.